The interpretive portrait. This is among the cr most creative type of portrait that you could take within the uh, portrait uh, genre. And the idea of the interpretive portrait is to photograph a person in a very non-traditional sense. So if you see in this example, it's non-traditional in the sense that we don't even have the person's face in the shot. And instead, we have the face, but it's in the background, and it's also cut off. But what we have in focus is this person's fist and the live fast tattoo on this person's knuckles. This is an example of an interpreter portrait. We don't even see the person's eyes. As I said, we don't even see their entire face. And it may be hard to identify this person unless you know who they are with this tattoo, but we don't have that typical traditional identifier, which would be that person's face. So this is another example. This is an example of an interpreter portrait. Here is another one where we do have the person's face, but it isn't the entire face. So again, we can't really identify who this person is. Uh, and in fact, we only have one uh, portion of this person's uh, face and it is one eye. So uh, that in itself is very non-traditional. And what's interesting here is also that in the eye of this person, we see a reflection of somebody else. So it's uh, an interpretive portrait within an interpretive portrait. And the person uh, in the person's eye is not actually the photographer, it's somebody else. So it's actually a pretty interesting and well-executed interpretive portrait. So again, an interpretive portrait is goes against the grain of, of what a traditional portrait would be. Their face is not in the shot, and if it is, it's, it's, it, it's definitely uh, cropped out, only part of the face is in there. I also want you to think about photographing shadows, uh, the shadow of the person and only the shadow. That would be considered an interpretive portrait as well. So this is where you want to really go outside the box in terms of taking a portrait um, and see what you can come up with. You know, a, a reflection off of a store window. Um, as I said, their shadow. Uh, you, can, you can think of so many different things um, uh, that would just sort of turn the idea of a portrait on its head. So have fun with this for this one.